thugging it. What's going on everybody? This is gonna be a full in-depth review of Forza Horizon 2. This took a lot of hard work to put this one together because I had to get a lot of details and do a lot of testing and checking a lot of things out. So hopefully you guys will enjoy this and you find it helpful. Let's get straight into it. The story of Forza Horizon 2 is set in a fantasy festival setting where the best races and cars from all over the world gather to show off what they have cooking under the hood and to compete to prove who has the better ride or who is the better driver. This is set in Southern Europe you will take part in races and special events to unlock new cars and special services. Controls Cars have basic controls and features you'd expect, such as rear view mirrors, handbrakes, standard brakes, the accelerator, and steering. The controls are comfortable, but for those of you new to the game, like such as myself, there's a small learning curve to using the brakes and turning, as you'd expect from a racing game. But after a few hours, maybe like one or half an hour or so, or two, it was like driving a grand champion pre-race car straight down the street thinking the only thing I needed to get through was a faster car. I thought nothing could stop me after about 30 minutes or so. Controls are great. I felt like all I needed was the fastest car to crush my opponent. Forza Horizon 2 has so much to talk about here. There's a long list of things I could go on and on about, but I'll try to narrow it down to the most important things that I think you guys may want to know about. Forza Horizon 2 features an unbelievable 200 cars, featuring trucks, exotics, rally cars, supercars. I mean, you name it, it's in the game. And I mean it, it's probably really in the game if you could think of it. I'm not kidding. There's crazy stuff in this game. I saw races where you could race against planes, you could race against trains, you can even fast travel and can customize your car with the new system that they added in. The new system they added in lets you see other people's cars, you can see what they put in their cars, you can see what you put in your car, you can show people what you put in your car. There's also some other cool features like being able to take a V6 engine and customize it and upgrade it and fully tune it, or if you don't like it, you can even swap it out for a bigger engine. I thought that was pretty dope and something I was missing from the games that I played when I was younger. You can customize things like your brakes, your interior, your colors, of course the simple things but even the nitty gritty things for the people that's hardcore sim players or you arcade players could just get the speed you were looking for. The physics in this game are crossed between simulator and arcade making it seem like a arcade sim. So it's pretty good. It meets both ends of the realm and put it together so it gives you a great game to play there's also a ranking system where if you're racing against somebody if you didn't notice by the car he was driving now you can just look at his rank and tell if you're pretty much out of your league and if you should probably just get the hell up on out of there <laughs> so that's pretty cool there's of course there's a lot of things they added that went previous for a sport game that people complained about and wanted so they put it in so you have all of those four customizations that you missed from Forza Motorsport and you should be happy guys I mean there's so much things I could talk about in this game that I noticed from the day and night cycle to the random weather patterns to the the fog lights coming on to the windshield wipers going off the rain dripping down the windshield there's so many cool things in the game the upgrades were the most important thing so that's what I talked about I mean what more can you want they put pretty much everything in this game so you guys should be able to enjoy it Graphics. Graphics are very impressive from driving with your headlights on at night to the random weather events that happen and cause rain to run down your windshield. It looks ultra real and the graphics are very, very dope. But there's a couple of warnings in this section that I'm have, gonna have to address for some of you guys. Now let's get the small things out of the way. The small things for you guys. There's always that guy that asks this for some reason. He actually says things about it. No, you cannot turn your lights on whenever you want or use your windshield wipers whenever you want. I'm sorry for you guys. You can't do that. Oh, uh, man, I know you feel bad, right? Anyway, let's move on. Seriously. Now, the cars take damage and the damage shows on your car's body. It affects the physics of the car and how it drives and it affects the performance. If you keep running into something repeatedly over and over, Eventually, your front end will smash up and your car will not drive like it's supposed to and it will be destroyed. Now, for you pussies out there who feel like you need to be a little bit more careful, you could turn that feature off and you could get that arcade feel instead of that simulator feel and keep cruising and don't have to worry about that. 
the graphics are amazing there's nothing i could complain about about the graphics now however let's get into the drama surrounding this game and this issue here the frame rate a lot of people were complaining about the game being 30 frames per second but i can honestly say that if you play the game you may not even notice as a matter of fact if people didn't tell me that i probably wouldn't have known i didn't notice any um bad things that happen with games with low frame rates and performance where you get screen tears or just a lot of uh jitter or things that just don't seem like it's moving properly because that's usually the feel you get with that type of issue i didn't notice any tears any jumps nothing like that everything seems smooth and fine and i honestly couldn't even tell the game was 30 frames per second the 1080 is of course full and it looks great i didn't have any problems with that but for you guys that are talking about the 30 frames per second i think you should give this game a try before you knock it and just say that you're not playing any uh, sports games or racing games that are 30 frames per second because you will not notice it in this game if you do you're more amazing than i am because I actually enjoyed the uh, 60 frame games that I played and I couldn't tell the difference here with this game even though it's a fast paced game. Bottom line, it looks amazing, feels amazing, and it plays amazing and I didn't notice 30 frames and I didn't have any issues with that performance wise for you guys that were wondering. <laughs> Replay value is extremely high in this game due to the wide variety of calls, options, and huge open world experience, not to mention the multiplayer being 12 players and that being a whole nother experience. There's a lot of things in this game to keep you busy for hours, estimating somewhere in the 100 range actually, so you should pretty much enjoy this game and have a good time with it. The replay value is extremely high. Overall, Forza Horizon 2 has the right feel for any car enthusiast and hasn't missed anything. From the car models to the customization options, which are amazing. The multiplayer is 12 players and that's fine, although a lot of people will want 16. I blame that on the cross-platform limitations that are obvious when you play this game. The game is a mix of arcade meets simulator, making it a simcade masterpiece. Overall, I would like to rate this game an 8. But due to the fact that this game was obviously limited due to the cross-platform formula, I'll give this game a 7. It's definitely worth buying for any car enthusiasts overall, looking to put some time in to a sim arcade game and get hours for the dollar. It's definitely worth buying versus renting, and I recommend that if you like car racing games, you go buy this drain immediately. What you waiting for? This is Jimmy B Gaming. This is my review. It took a lot to make this review. A lot more than it normally would. I tried to put a lot of effort into it. I hope it helps. I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you agree with it. If you don't, let me know. If you do, let me know. If you brought it, let me know. Let me know how you feel. If you can, please like this, comment, share it on Twitter, Facebook, or any of your news groups, wherever you can to get this out there. I appreciate your time. I hope you enjoyed the review, and I hope you enjoy the game. Later.